Okay, many thanks. Um, welcome, everybody. Um, I'm Andy Norton. I'm ODI's Director of Research, and I'm delighted to welcome a World Bank team and two great discussants to look at WDR 2014 on risk and opportunity, managing risk for development. Just a quick, the, the quick introductory words before we start out. Um, please set your ringers off on your mobile phones. Um, and if there is a fire alarm, it's a real one. And I think those are the only things I'm required to say at this point. Um, let's move along. Um, I think, I mean, I was involved in this process at various points around this World Development Report. It's been a fascinating um, journey to see it develop. Um, Tom Mitchell, who I think is also around, was al also involved from ODI's side. Um, obviously, you were picking up issues that have been so much kind of in the ether, in discussion, in development over the last, well, since 2008 in particular, around risk, resilience, volatility, crisis, and uncertainty. Um, it's a huge terrain to take on, and it's a very broad-ranging report. I think it'll be interesting to dig into where the audience sees the key, the key messages within it. Um, it is very broad-ranging. Um, briefly, for those of you who haven't looked at the report yet, it makes a case for proactive, integrated and systematic risk management as foundations of policy responses to uncertainty and volatility within the world. Um, let me now introduce the panel as they will speak. Um, first, we will have Kyla Wetley from the World Bank, um, one of the authors, uh, chapter author, and I think you also worked a lot on the summary messages as well. And Rasmus Heltberg, uh, Lead Evaluation Officer, Global Programs at the World Bank, who also has a strong track record in the World Bank's Social Development Group. Uh, and you worked on the communities chapter, in the chapter on risk management at the community level. And then I'm delighted to welcome also two great discussants, um, our former director here at ODI, Alison Evans. Welcome Thank back, you. Alison. Thank you. And the Chief Economist of DFID, Stefan Dirkon, who's also I think tracked the process from DFID's side of the <coughs> preparation of this report. Um, and with that, let's start. Um, Kyla, I think <coughs> you will open. Sure. 